<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Call to Conserve YouTube channel. My name is Danielle Carnahan and I am an elephant researcher and conservationist. So for the past four and a half months I have been in Nepal and I've been traveling around to different captive elephant facilities, both privately owned and government owned, and I've been able to take some videos of elephant behavior to walk you guys through exactly how to tell if an elephant is stressed, if they've lived through any trauma, or if they're being mistreated in any way. Now before we get into these videos, I just want to let everybody know that some of these behaviors come from simply living in a captive environment. All of us, elephants, humans, every species, take stress in differently and manifest trauma in different ways. So just because you see one of these behaviors in an elephant does not mean that they are being managed poorly. A lot of times you can see these behaviors in sanctuary elephants and that is simply because they've come from a traumatic background. So if you're visiting a sanctuary and you see any of these behaviors, don't write off the sanctuary as being unethical or not treating their elephants correctly. Instead, I would encourage you to ask more questions. Ask them, where did your elephant come from? Where do these behaviors come from? Uh, how long have they been doing these? Have these behaviors gotten better since they've been rescued? These are all questions that will help you to understand the management of the elephant, their background, where they came from, and then you can empathize a little bit more with that individual elephant. Also remember that whenever you're visiting a facility, they should be very open and honest with you. If they're not willing to answer your questions, that's a big red flag. So always ask questions. Anyone should answer them. With that said, let's get into some of the most common behaviors that are seen in captive elephants when they're experiencing some level of stress. The big one that you'll see pretty often is any kind of repetitive behavior. This could be swaying back and forth like this, bobbing the head up and down, walking forward and backwards. These are repetitive behaviors that are done to alleviate the stress that they're feeling in that moment. Another really common behavior that you'll see is in their facial expressions. So if you look at an elephant, just like humans, we all have different facial expressions. We all have different expressions when we're stressed, anxious, experiencing some level of trauma or you know, re-experiencing a memory that, we, that we've lived through. With elephants, you can often see if they are stressed by looking at their eyes first. Their eyes can get really, really wide when they're stressed out, and that's because they are taking in their environment and they're experiencing that fight or flight response from their cortisol increasing. And a lot of times with the trunk, you can see they'll kind of start flailing it, they'll throw it around in the air. This is a sign of stress and it's showing that they're in that moment there's something in their environment that's making them feel very anxious next we can look at signs of frustration in elephants just like us when we have frustrating times in our lives we all react differently elephants often will react externally by getting what would look to us as angry so in this video you can see this baby elephant is throwing himself on the ground He's thrashing his head around, he's thrashing his trunk around. He just doesn't know what to do with his body. And this is very, very common, especially among young elephants who are undergoing the biggest trauma of their life in that exact moment. This is the most traumatic time when they're being trained, when they're being taken away from their mothers, when they're first experiencing everything bad about being in captivity and that frustration definitely shows. So these are some signs that this elephant is not in a good place, mentally. Now, this whole video, I have not spoken to the facility that he's in, how nice the facility is, how ethical the facility is, and quite frankly, I don't need to because it doesn't matter what the facility is, if the elephant is as stressed as this baby elephant is, then regardless of if this is the best facility in the world or the worst, the needs of this elephant is, are not being met. And therefore, he needs a change. So next time you're traveling, if you see an elephant doing any of these behaviors, stop and think more about them. 
and most of all, educate the people that are around you and the people that you have reached to in your life. Instead of just saying, oh, the elephant looks happy, stop and think, maybe this elephant is stressed. Maybe it's because of the facility that they're in, or maybe it's because of the background of training. Maybe he was taken away from his mother too young. Regardless of the cause, the environment is causing an extreme amount of stress and psychological illness in the animal. For more elephant welfare and wildlife content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for next week's video.